1989, the James House was birthed out of the hospital, so the partnership uh, between the two organizations has been one from the beginning. My name is Suzanne Jackson, the CEO of John Randolph Medical Center, and we are your second story. The vision and the mission of John Randolph is our family taking care of your family because we care. And when you think about the principles of the James House, they align totally, they intertwine. We take care of the same people, we operate with compassion, uh, we deal in empathy, and we're here to empower people, to help people and enable them to have um, hope for a better future. There was a patient several years ago, a female patient, who came in and said that she was, that a football had fallen out of her closet and, and hit her in the head. The story did not match the injuries that she had. Um, we were unable to get her to come forward. And I think a lot of that was because of the lack of education from the nurses. The nurses didn't want to push too far. They didn't, they didn't feel comfortable saying, I want you to tell me, I, I, I don't believe you. And it's okay to say, I, I can't understand how that football caused all these injuries. And, and she left and we never knew what happened to her. And deep down in my heart, I know that it was not a football. And so I think it was that moment that made me commit to what if she went home and something terrible happened to her. Many times victims or survivors, they, they come to the emergency department for help. They do not want to share at that moment what happened and how the injuries were occurred. And oftentimes the injuries do not match the story. And so when the injuries do not match the story, um, that's where the nurse's education comes in to kind of delve deeper and to find out what, what exactly happened. And so the James House comes to, um, to John Randolph and educates our team probably about twice a year. They use stories, they use PowerPoints, they use play acting role play so that they can, the nurses can learn to feel comfortable going to that other side where they don't understand the victim's pain and, and help the survivor um, feel more comfortable sharing their story. Without that story, we can't help them. Without the story, we cannot help the survivor get to the safety of the James House where they need to be. It's real and we need help for these survivors. And to be a part of that help and to be able to know that I am a part of a team that can help these survivors get the help they need, there aren't any words for it.